Hey folks, this is Jayesh, and I've been building AI agents for a while now. But I think one case that particularly intrigued my interest was the case of multi-agents. And so I built this project called Mahilo, which is multi-agent human in the loop system. It's a framework that helps you build uh, agents which can talk to humans and also share context internally. But how does it work? What does it do? I have a quick demo to show you, and then we can talk about the specifics. Um, so this is an example called Health Emergency, and it's, it's in the example directory of my GitHub repo. And what it does is it has three different roles, a medical advisor, a logistics coordinator, and a public communication director, all working together to solve a crisis. And usually they would talk to each other directly, but now in this case, we'll use, use agents to make the jobs easier. So what I'll do right away is I will now set up a server, like this already has a server, so I'll run this server. And then I'll also hide these things so it's easier for you to view. And then here in each of these terminals, we can set up the clients where you can imagine all of these would be three different humans talking to their agents. So you have, let's say, a medical advisor agent, a logistics agent, and a public communications director agent. So for the medical advisor, what I can do now is maybe paste a prompt, um, which talks about a health crisis looming in Southeast Asia. And now it asks me for specific details because my agent wants to elicit a lot of details out of me about this crisis. So maybe I'll write Thailand and Myanmar for the countries that are affected. Um, then it asks me about genetic, so maybe no known genetic uh, mutations. And then primary mode of transmission, it could travel through it. So what I'm doing now is I'm supplying as much information as possible so my agent knows what to do with it uh, in the future. So I do that incubation, quick incubation. And for contamination, I meant to add that we need a lot of masks um, to contain uh, the spread of this disease. So once I send this message, my agent knows that it has to talk to both the logistics and the communications director because it needs to tell that you need to supply uh, some masks in Thailand and Myanmar. Uh, and then in the public communication side, you can see that it tells me that I need to uh, release a public statement. So what I can now do as a public communication director is I can talk to my agent and tell, okay, I need to release a statement. And then I can also ask it to make a draft for me. Um, this is because it knows all the context. So, like in, in in a sense, like you also have not just pub in sharing our information, but you can also leverage normal LM capabilities to make your jobs easier. And on the logistics side, um, what I can do is I can also tell my agent that I can arrange for supplies, um, but I need to exactly know where to send them because Thailand is a huge country, and then this is information I don't really have uh, from the message I already got. So this is something that I can. Uh, tell my logistics agent. Perfect. So now on the right, you can see I already have a draft message, which my agent made for me with all the context, which is fantastic. Uh, and I can just use it. Um, and on the left, you can see that it has now asked me where in Thailand uh, should I send the deliveries to the medical advisor. So the medical advisor can now tell their agent that, okay, you need to supply to, let's say, Koh Samoy or Bangkok. And then this information also relayed on to the other agent. So this is how the entire system works. Um, let me know what you think about it. I'm super excited to see any other applications of it. I have one other example in my repo, which is the dispatcher example, which is like the case of 911. So when you call a 911 dispatcher, it needs to talk to, let's say, uh, emergency, health emergency, and also police, and all of them can coordinate with each other through this agent system. Um, let me know how do you think. Uh, I'd be super happy to um, hear contributions and other suggestions. Thanks so much.